Next, on Extreme Water Parks. <laughs> We've searched the world for rides that push you to the very edge. A slide so tall, it's insane. It is 14 stories high. A loop so wicked, not everybody makes it to the end. And a bungee splashdown that'll give you nightmares. Instinctually, you know that this is a bad idea. Five, one, three, two, one, bungee! From a slide that terrorizes to the ultimate surf machine, we're getting our thrill on at the world's most extreme water parks. Our final stop believes that size does matter. It's the biggest indoor water park in North America. This place covers 30 acres. That's room for 76 NHL hockey rinks. We're in Canada, in the city of Edmonton. Winters here rage on for six months, unless you're at World Water Park. You always feel like you're at the beach. But this beach has 19 rides, nearly all of them rides that make your stomach churn. And for the truly adrenaline depraved, their center of gravity, the world's tallest indoor bungee jump. Three, two, one, bungee! The only one that hits water. When you're falling back in, their hair is still dry. It's because you fall in and you display so much water that you're in and out so fast that you didn't have a chance to get your hair wet. He's the crazy one. I grew up snowboarding, skateboarding, caving. Jared's an extreme guy. Wife Melanie, not so much. She's hoping today to convince her man she can hang on something tougher than the wave pool. Melanie's first test, skyscraper. Side-by-side -side racing slides that start 77 feet in the air when the floor disappears beneath you. Okay. <laughs> That's gonna be us. Oh, yeah. A little over two Gs when you drop and you hit 35 miles an hour on that. No, this is scary. The center of gravity stands 10 stories high. That's three times higher than any Olympic diving board. It's unlike any other ride. You have to start the ride. It's up to you to make this happen. With one step, you're free falling at 40 miles per hour, dropping 106 feet in just three seconds. And the water is only eight feet deep. I am freaking out. I am seriously. until you're standing on the edge. Instinctually, you know that this is a bad idea. Here we go. Five, one, three, two, one, one, two! Yeah, baby! Woo!
There's a reason we love scaring ourselves. Experts say it's a primal need to feel our hearts racing, our adrenaline pumping, and that rush of power that says, he who conquers the ride may conquer it all. I want to do this again. I made it.